Hello my lovely friends and welcome to another episode of Pro Archery Motorcycle Adventures. I am your host, Pro. Actually, wrong fist, whatever. <laughs> it happens. Okay, so this video, what I'm doing right now, I actually just recently was in a small little discussion on another YouTube thread uh, on one of the channels that I follow. And, uh, and in the conversation came up the idea of blocking people over social media. Well, I figured that's actually a pretty good video to make. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. I'm actually on my way over to uh, work on my bikes a little bit. Got a couple things I need to get done. Change some oils. Uh, find out tire sizes because I got to get some replacements. I got to order a, a conversion kit for the front rim on my Sportster to where it's actually not so much of a suicide kind of front. It's slightly off, you know. It's uh, coming off. The Sportster rims are 39 millimeter. You know, well they're fit to 39 39 millimeter front ends versus the wide glide front end that's on it, which is a 41 millimeter. So I'm gonna go get that taken care of. But let's go ahead and jump right into uh, the video topic, which is blocking people on social media. Now, a lot of people look at blocking as like this immature power play where they're just like, oh, well, I don't have to deal with this person and blah, blah, blah. And the reality is a lot of people use blocking for exactly that reason. Uh, for me, I have ever only blocked two people in my entire life and when I look at that and when I think about that if I block someone then at that point there is no going back it is not a game it is legitimately the end I'm done with you you have disrespected me to the point where I just you're dead to me I'm not trying to keep track of your existence. I'm not trying to keep tabs on you. I'm not trying to let you keep tabs on me. When it's done, it's done permanent. And like I said, for the most part, you shouldn't have to block people. But if you do, there's a reason for it. And that reason, in my mind, is just people that are pure problems man. You know what I'm talking about? Like, duplicitous, insidious, god-awful, terrible human beings. And the problem is, a lot of those exist out here in this world. Trust and believe that. Trust and believe that. And the majority of the time, whenever it comes to people that have suffered narcissistic abuse and things like that, they have a problem with blocking their abuser because the reality is they're doing it or they're not willing to block the person because they whether they admit it out loud or not they're holding on to hope that that person is going to get a hold of them again and be magically changed into everything that they wanted to be and I hate to be the person that has to tell you the truth, but that's who I am. It's never going to happen. They're never going to change. Ever. It's never going to happen. You're not going to get your apology, and if you do, it's fake. And it sucks, man. But like I said, when if you are in a position where you feel that you need to block someone, it is okay to block people, but it is not for playing games. It's not for... Because, I mean, a lot of people do that, too. They'll block, unblock, block, unblock, and do that crap back and forth. That's immature. No, forget that. But uh, where this conversation stemmed from, it was on a YouTube channel that I follow. Uh, and, you know, this guy, he was like, you know, I'm going to follow this person's advice and not wall myself in. Uh or anything like that and you know I had to respond to that because the reality is I'm not disagreeing with what the woman said because she's right what I'm saying though is that 
there are times in life where you have to just cut ties completely, 100%, full-blown block this person, whether they're crazy, they're stalkerish, they're, I mean, the list goes on, obviously, but, uh, like I said, the reality boils down to, the, you have to, when you are getting away from an abuser or a just god-awful, terrible person, you cannot afford to put yourself in this position to where you just look back or you go and look at their social media or you go and do these things to keep track of them because you're not actually moving forward at all. If anything, you're still holding yourself back. You're still holding on to that little glimmer of hope. And that's just going to always lead to misery. It is. It sucks, but it's the truth. Alright? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the message. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification if you want to receive updates on me posting future videos. Pretty soon, we're going to be having more videos of my motorcycles and all the things I'm doing with them. Archery. Uh, actually, a couple of hunting seasons are in. Bow fishing season is getting pretty close. I'm a huge bow fisherman. And I'm actually working on my own bow fishing boat. I wouldn't mind doing a little video on that. I've had several requests to do a video on my 1970 Monte Carlo. So I might get around to doing that. But either way, again, I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Peace.